Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Horseshoe Casino here in Louisville, Kentucky. It's the site of the 18th Derby City Classic. We've had an amazing turnout so far. Nearly 500 folks, uh, players in the bank pool. We got one pocket starting today, but this is the match that everybody is talking about around the world. 16 of the world's greatest on this 5 by 10 diamond. It's called the Bigfoot Challenge, and we are down to just the Elite Eight. The winners of these matches matches today are going to move on to the final four and they're in the money. The first match of the day, let's go on and meet the players. First, member of Team USA for the Moscone Cup, also Derby City Ring Game Bank Champion and recently just won the Music City Open. He's sponsored by UTG Muchi from Paducah, Kentucky, USA. Let's hear it for the Skywalker, Skyler Woodward. <laughs> Next up, he's the Geeky Memorial Champion, also three-time Turning Stone Champion, sponsored by Kamui Moose Billiard Shoes, Muchi from Glasgow, Scotland, the Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw. <laughs> Scott Smith's gonna be our referee. We're gonna lag for the break. Gonna send it to the guys up in the booth. Good luck. Hello again, and welcome, everybody. It's always an honor and privilege to sit in with all of you. Today, we have 10 ball action. Mark Wilson and Danny Diliberto on the call. And Danny, if you were Skyler's coach, what would you tell him? <laughs> I, I would tell him play a little better than you did yesterday because this is a tough horse. That's all you could tell the guys. They came here prepared, you know, whether they have a great day or not. We're going to see. Well, I think you really have to uh, enforce or reinforce putting that match behind him. He did not play well. He won. Go. But uh, today's a different day, and you're definitely going to have to rise to the challenge. Uh, Jason Shaw that doesn't miss many balls, so you can't expect him to, to, to play down to your level. You're going to have to minimize your unforced errors, break well. And you said it right. you got to forget yesterday. This is a new day. Forget yesterday. And Mark Wilson, of course, I like to call Skyler Woodward one of his guys, but all the guys that represented USA in the Moscone Cup are Mark Wilson's guys. Jason Shaw won the lag. Race to 11. He'll be breaking first. It's a winner break format. The 10 does not win on the break. <laughs> Soft break squares him up. Yeah, uh -huh. it didn't work. It was working quite well last night. He did not leave a shot. I don't really object to leading off the match with that type of a break because the last thing you want to do is scratch and uh, give up a uh, ball in hand, let your opponent get some momentum, feel like he's engaged in the match. You've made one bad shot. I'd ra much rather have them run out from wherever the balls land. Yeah, well, it's good to break them soft first game because 10-foot table, uh, race to 11, you got a wild figure out what the best break is and he started with a soft break he kicked the one made the nine which counts you know this, this was a perfect example of why pushing out after the break is, has very little value Skyler elected to just take the two cushion kick and that's what you have to push out to is a kick anyway so you have a kick why belabor that yeah but nevertheless, we've discussed that a few times anyway. We will go over the rules. Most of you already know them, but just for the new people coming in so they know what's going on. It's all ball fouls. Single elimination. Pretty big prize money. 16000 up top. 8000 for second place. 4000 third and fourth. So this match, the winner's going to get 4000 Danny. Yeah, that'll feed them all week. Everybody that's in the tournament... And, and wins today, we'll get at least 4000 and that'll buy a lot of lunches. Well, Skyler played a safe, and he's getting rewarded, it looks like. But he's got a tough shot here with tough position. And I always say, if the shot is tough and position's tough, look to play safe. I kind of like the straight back bank here just because the six might help and you maybe could protect the cue ball a little bit with that shot. A good idea is free because, you know, if it doesn't go, your opponent figures to be snookered. But he fired it right in 
He fell on the two, but he's far away. Tough shot here. But if he can pocket this ball, he figures to have position on the three. Just a little bit spooked by the 10-foot table last night, I think, and that contributed to a few misses. Could be opening night jitters, too. Yeah. yeah. Look how straight he shoots. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't any jitters about that one. He didn't get rewarded. It was, I think he snookered. It was Eagle Eye-esque, that type of shot. Eagle Eye, he's renowned for making balls like that on a routine basis. You know, one big thing about uh, Jason Shaw's game that's interesting is that he figures and thinks and is committed, and it'll be testimony to this to be true when you watch him play, he's not going to miss. Where the rest of us, we get up there and hope to make it, you know, and he's thinking, how would I miss this? Well, when he first came to this country, he beat everybody around New York City, and now he's learned some pool, so he's double tough. Mm-hmm. You know, in the beginning, he just made balls. Now he knows the moves. He knows how to break them, certainly. Yeah, it's interesting, too. We play at a 40-second shot clock, but that will not be an issue for Jason Shaw. It won't it's, take him 40 seconds to run the balls. Right. Now maybe I wonder if he thought that. Maybe he thinks he only get 40 seconds for the whole round. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, if he does think that, I like it because it's colorful to watch. You know. Good pool, maybe boring, but he puts more than boring into it. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta love his game when he's on. It's just beautiful. It's uh, well, it's just the epitome of supreme firepower. He's courageous and fearless shot maker. Well, he could have got a little more angle here. I think he might have to go forward two rails. No, he had a little room. I couldn't see it that well, but he got perfect. You can see he's playing with an exceptionally long cue, too. Some of the guys really believe it helps him to go through the ball straight. Well, we got a few with long cues, but... Shaw wins the first game. In the old days, we had specifications. You couldn't have a long cue. Yeah, you know, we've been notified that Shaw is using the long cue because of the 10-foot table being longer. Not a bad idea because with the 10-foot table, a lot of times you got to take a longer shot so you could reach the cue bubble. That's part of the game you got to think of. It's another factor. And not to be contrary, but a snooker cue is 54 inches. You know, that's a smaller cue. You know, so I don't mm -hmm. know. That's a 6 by 12, but I don't know if it has any relevance. I always just found it amusing because I used to consider they'd say, oh, this is a snooker shaft, it, like indicating it's much longer or something. Not really. It's, real it's snooker a cue. Uh, millimeter because you're shooting at a smaller ball. That's why they have the open briz playing snooker, so they don't uh, screen themselves hitting the cue ball. You hit the cue ball, you see it better with the open bridge because it's a little ball. Jason Shaw, successful on the break. Hit him just a little bit harder, just a square. Made the ball right behind the one ball in the side pocket. Not blessed with a great opening shot here, but he does have control of the table. He played it safe. And with a 10-foot table, a diamond great table, by the way, distance works. Yeah, it's a safety play is, is a uh, more powerful weapon, I think, on a 10-foot table. Definitely. Much like Danny said earlier, Jason Shaw's learned a little bit more about pool. It used to be he just tried to overpower everybody at all times with his shot making, and it oftentimes worked. He always reminded me of a great uh, rookie baseball pitcher that could just overpower you with his fastball. But once you get to the big leagues, you better have a secondary pitch that you can command in the strike zone, and, and that's where he's at now. He used to just come up here and try to overpower you with talent, but now he's got some shots. And 
some moves that he didn't have. Well, he won the Turning Stone Tournament three consecutive times, and that's a big feat because that's like a world uh, tournament. Yeah, very tough fields. Yeah. He, he's got confidence. That's big. The no joke. psychological disadvantage with this guy. The locker room joke was they were going to rename it to the Jason Shaw Benefit Tournament. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's close to Buffalo, and I go there every time, and it is like a world tournament. Combo on the 10 here. A nice shot on the 1. Drills at home. 2 nothing. Jason Shaw. <laughs> Fast break offense on display here in the early goings. Jason Shaw is really a nice guy. He's from Scotland, but now he lives in Connecticut. We mentioned this match means 4,000 to the winner, and they're going on for bigger things, but the main 16,000 if you win the tournament. That'd be a good way to start the first tournament. Yeah. You know, 16,000 in your pocket might loosen your stroke up for the other games. I think more more so than just winning and more so than the amount, you just beat a super quality field here. There's not going to be any tougher matches coming to you, and you beat them on a 10-foot table. That would, I would just feel like Superman if I won that. And that's bragging rights. Yeah, for sure. I mean, to me, this would be the most prideful event of, of the well, nine-day proceedings. Mark likes this better than the other tournaments. Ten ball. Ten-foot table, too. Ten-foot table, it. ten ball. And big prize money and single elimination and all ball fouls. I, I like every component of it. Well, he's protecting <laughs> his two-game lead by safety and a good one. He applied all of two seconds thought on executing that shot. <laughs> I mean, he just gets up there. He just feels it. But you, when you play as much pool, there's nothing really to, to analyze at that point. You know what the right shot is, and you play it. Well, you know, when you're a commentator with a fast player, you don't get a chance to explain what you think they're going to do. They mm -hmm. shoot quick. Mm -hmm. Well, poor Woodward so far has had kicks. And now Jason has a pretty good shot to run out another game. As soon as we are done with the draw for one pocket, we will let you know. We'll no problem three. here to the four, and then to the five, there's no problem. Just get out in the open where you could make the four. But you got to leave an angle to go from the uh, five to the six. He didn't leave a real good angle. He's going to have to show his powerful stroke now. See, there's no reason for this. The four was hanging. You could have more angle than this. You know? I, th I think if there would be a knock on him, uh, um, it might be that, you know, uh, he's a little careless at times and just uses his super firepower to get, his, get himself out of trouble. But he's a pretty young man, you know, and you get experience with this stuff. And I always say that experience is something you get right after you needed it right yeah you're right he, he's just 27 years old and the relative newcomer i mean just the last four or five years on the pool scene here in the united states so there's certainly a lot of maturity experience to be had this is the place to get it though you you just thrust yourself into the biggest stages that you can it's the best and smartest players in the universe. So you, if you don't learn when you're around here, then you're a moron. That's what I always tell people. You know, I went to Johnson City. It was similar to this. Mm -hmm. Best all-around players in the world. Earl Shira said, 
Keep your eyes open and your mouth shut, and you'll learn something. It was like going to college. Jason Shaw, three now, quickly. Yeah, this is a this is a critical juncture of the match for Skyler because uh, you got to slow down Jason Shaw from running out there five or six games in front. Uh, because at that point he's really rolling and it's really hard to stop him. But you got to get yourself to the table with something better than a kick to do it. Well, I like the fact that we're not playing uh, alternate break because if you get games behind alternate breaks, tough to gain. Here. You get one inning, you might run four racks and catch them, but with alternate breaks, you can't do that. Yeah. This is more interesting, I believe. Yeah, if you're going to play this long of a match, winter break is sort of okay. And we grew up and we both prefer winter breaks just because that was our history. But I think if you're playing shorter matches, races to five or seven, I think the alternate the break is a bit more fair. Yeah, I don't know what's better. The audience likes close matches. Well, the alternate break provides that. But if you want to watch big runs and dynamic pool and exciting, uh, the winter breaks is well the better way to go. The public likes more suffering. <laughs> <laughs> so you say they like alternate the break to make it more hill hill. Yeah, hey, I bet you there was standing room only in the gladiators fights in ancient Rome. Well, it was yeah, yeah, but it was standing room only for the Christians going to the Lions. That wasn't the matchup. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they just like to see blood, I guess. But yeah, they would bury the uh, victims and and turn the lions loose, and the lions would run around and chew on their heads. And one time, the guy's head he bit the lion in the testicles. And the centurion went over and said, fight fair, fight fair. <laughs> Daddy. Okay. He's daring him distance. He's definitely got a shot on the one. Yeah. But how do you get to the two? Oh, and, and Eagle Eye would relish shooting from here. I mean, he, he would just he love loves it. to yeah. shoot. Yeah, he would love this if he got it back. He's hoping, wishing, praying that Sky won't take it. It's hard for Skyler to accept it, too, but Eagle Eye's forced to play, and he doesn't mind that one bit. I don't think you shoot this. I wouldn't shoot it. I'm going to play safe. He's looking to see where he's going to be mm. when he makes the one. I wouldn't even shoot the one. Cross bank it towards the five ball and get the cue ball distance. I wouldn't shoot here. This is bad percentage. He's got a three-game lead. He doesn't have to gamble. This is... You know, you're going to be the underdog if you make this. I mean, you know, look at that shot. You can save all that verbiage now. He took two swings and knocked it in the middle of the pocket. So that's but Jason Shaw at but, his best. But like we say, I mean, you took a long shot to get another long shot. Right. That's going to catch up to you in the long run. That's where a little more wisdom will help this guy. But his shooting ability, right, right. unbelievable. But That's huh? what I'm saying. He's got the major league fastball. He can just blow it on by you. He'll just go ahead and I'll shoot you. He, he'd love to get into like a fast break, you know, Earl Strickland type of a shootout where uh, you only get one safety per rack and, and maybe a 20-second shot clock would be fine with both of those players. Well, the good thing about this is when you mention Earl Strickland, you don't have to explain to people who Earl is. You know, they all know him. Look at that, was nothing. Just as pure as could be, yeah. This is all from shooting that one ball that I didn't think he's supposed to shoot. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes you put what you would have done into the commentary, and it doesn't always seem right. Right. No, he, he never doubts that he's going to make the ball. There's, there's not one shred in him that thought he was. He was just concerned about how he was going to get positioned to make the secondary ball. He was. One bit worried well, about making he's, it. He's shooting. He's falling on the balls, and he's got a good chance to run out. Yeah. This is no bargain either, but I think he can go forward two rails. Missed the 10. Well, I don't know. He doesn't think that. He recognizes that this is that little tenuous he could give a game back here if he doesn't really pay attention. He doesn't want to do so. That's he went forward, like I said. Tremendous shot. The 10 didn't enter because he knew how to avoid hitting that. But he didn't get real ideal position here. This is eagle eye. This is real ideal position for him. 
Yeah. He plays it like a bar table. He's, he's just that yeah. fearless. I saw him play an exhibition with Johnny Mora in Akron. Tight pockets. And he did make them look like bar tables. That was the first ball that didn't really enter the pocket cleanly in, in the entirety of the match right there. And he still made it. But Yeah, look at this. There we go, four nothing. Jason Shaw. <laughs> he came prepared to play. There's no doubt about that. But well, five by ten is not slowing him down one iota. You know he plays just like he owns a five by ten. Playing a nine thirty eight clip right now. But mentally, Skyler Woodward would leave that one again. I don't think you're supposed to change your thinking. You know, let that guy make that forever. If he could, but he won't do it forever. You know, the, in other words, the judgment you use there, keep it up. Yeah, I mean, certainly Jason wouldn't make 100 out of 100 of those, but he just felt like that was his best chance to maybe make something happen from nowhere. Just rely on his ability and challenge the other guy. If he can make it, then shake his hand. The man's a great player. Eight and nine right behind the one. The eight in the side, nine in the side. Here comes the one. Is he going to get a shot here if he does? He keeps playing position for the one oh in boy. this corner, and it's always close. Big trouble. He doesn't well. have a big shot, yeah. yeah. Skyler Woodward is in danger of getting further behind. Oh, yeah, it's a, nothing you can do. This guy was really all he's done is kick. <laughs> he turned down the tough push out and kicked the rest of the time. Yeah, we haven't seen Skyler... Because the table would have run out. But you got to just sit and wait your turn. And when it comes, you got to try your best. Game at a game. I always tell the young players, have fun. You're not going to the electric chair if you lose. Boy, it doesn't take long at mm. all. No. I'm going to take a look at it because he recognizes this is a, a, a tricky little component here at that six ball. You don't want to have to bump the ten ball with the cue ball along the way if you can help it. Takes the longer shot to fall on the right angle. Yeah, I don't think he's going to hit the ten. You got it. Nope, not now. He did, I'm saying if he would have fallen thinner, you know, then he might have to, the 10 gets in the picture, and that's why he went over and took a look at it, because he wanted to, he wanted to give one away here with three balls on the table. You folks out there, learn what's going on here. You'll be a better player, because this didn't come by accident. He changed the angle from the 6 to the 7, because he didn't want to run into that 7. Now look, got easy two balls. Of course, he makes it look easy. <laughs> that was not easy. You hit multiple rails, you better have good speed. Yep, yeah, quickly 5-0 is our score. To the people's delight. Look at hmm. Shaw is shooting 9.52. 600 for I know Woodward, it. and he didn't do anything wrong. He's shooting 600. Yeah, when I put the eye test on here, I got him at 1,000. I mean, I haven't seen him make anything. I would consider an error. Of course, right now, Bustamante played the best set yesterday. Now, later on today, he's playing his idol, Efren Reyes. Okay, here we are, rack number six. Eight and nine right behind the one. Two and three on the corner. Did the nine find the side pocket? It, it sure did. did. Yeah, that, that break is working. Position right. on the one again. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is 
Not looking too good for Skyler. No, because he's making that ball right behind the one and getting position on the one. And then, you know, with his firepower, he follows it up. Yeah. Got a perfect angle now to go to the three. Little below center. Missed the eight. He'll get on the three. Perfect speed because look where the five is. Got to get the four first, but... He's trying to figure out how to go from the four to the five, and he is going to have to draw the ball, I believe. No, he wanted, he's going to go forward, boy. There's obstructions going forward. And Skyler wishes that one of them obstructs him because nothing's going to stop him, it looks like. Look, mm -hmm. he put a little reverse on there. Yes. Might scratch. He might. He did. Okay, Skyler, this is your chance to get on the board. No ball spot except the 10. Yeah, he's trailing 5-0, and naturally you got to win one game before you can win any more. But Skyler really needs to put just the, even two games together here, just to issue a little bit of a threat and maybe take uh, Jason out of that good pace that he has. Well, Johnny Morrow got way behind yesterday, but he didn't give up. He made a match out of it just by playing... One game at a time. That's what Woodward's got to do. Forget the score and just play and try to run out every time you get a shot. Like the biggest comeback I ever saw was uh, Alan Hopkins was losing, well, he was losing 10 nothing, and he won the match. Oh, no, he was winning 10 nothing and lost the match. Yeah, that was alternate the break against Efren Reyes. Yeah, yeah against Efren Reyes. Alternate breaks, and he lost 11 in a row. <laughs> Tough to do. So in other words, don't ever give up. Whatever happens to get you this far behind, it might go the other way yeah. now. You got to think positive anyway. That's right. And just so people know, that would never happen with bad players that they can come back alternate the break um, because there's too many innings. But with great players, you know, the innings are reduced. And so the losing 10 or 11 in a row it happens pretty easily. 5-1 our score. Woodward breaking. He's smiling, so he's having fun out there. Oh, yeah, you have to. Four and five this time right behind the one ball. Well, he wasn't very fortunate. I don't think a ball went in. He kind of tried the Jason Shaw break there, but he didn't hit it quite you. as well. I tell people that all the time. Watch where you're breaking from and watch where your opponent's breaking from. And if he's getting more success, don't be a hardhead. Do what he's doing. Well, there's a save for you. Skyler didn't make a ball on the break. And now his inning is a kick. <laughs> that's tough to overcome. Yeah, and that's what it's been most of the time, except for that one scratch that Jason Shaw provided for Skyler's first win. But most of the time, he's come to the table either kicking or facing something that's distasteful. Maybe he'll make the 10 kicking. Because the QL is going to go behind balls. Pretty good attempt. Nice shot. He got yeah. snookered. Oh, very nice shot. Jason's looking at two cushion kick. Around the nine. That was a good hit, yeah. Had to use just a little bit of backspin to arc that cue ball from around behind the nine. Has another kick. He's going to get good at kicks. That's definitely what it looks like when you have uh, world-class players 
Some of the table off and with these type innings, and that's what we've said all along. Skyler Woodward's pretty much just been kicking this match so far. Well, the way he just aimed, I think he's going to try to knock the one behind the nine. I don't think he's going to hit it hard. I think he's going to try to finesse a safe. Let's see if he agrees. I think he's trying to kick the one behind the nine. Well, he kicked it. He hit it anyway, so there's no ball in hand. He left the shot, though. And you can't say it's a long shot because this guy, Shaw, makes it look like a short. Yeah. Let's see what he does again, you know. He started this barrage by a long shot. Let's see what he does here. Look, it went clean. Oh, I think he snuck it. He made a great shot, but mm -hmm. not great position. Can't really fault him there either. He hit the heart of the pocket with that. It's just if it glances any kind, no, look, he's just gonna oh, hop no. up here and jump. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. See, he can't reach it. I don't know. He I think wants he... to jump. I don't know. He's gonna try to jump, but I don't think so. I don't like it. I don't like it. You could kick and hit the ball just as easily, but he was trying to make it. Okay, Skyler. Well, he's, he might shoot the 10 here. I play a billiard. No, he's not going to shoot the 10. That'd be suicide. No, he doesn't have... I mean, I'm talking about the billiard, but I see that it's too thin a hit. Yeah. Well... <laughs> he's looking to shoot the combination, but wow. that's not a bad idea. Just get the cue ball long, and no matter what, you're going to at least leave distance if you miss. You know, this makes you want to shoot. Five to one, you might want to shoot. He didn't miss it badly, but he missed it. And he did go for what you said, try to get distance here. He's he picked did. Up a, See it, and it worked. Yep, he had the secondary backdoor safety. It all becomes a free shot on the 10. He tried to tie up balls and give him the ball in hand, and that didn't work. Yeah, that won't be Jason's forte is the uh, finesse and tactical side of the game. Yeah, he tried to tie up. Whenever you have a, a shot that's impossible or improbable to hit, tying up a ball and giving the ball in hand is not a bad option, but that didn't work here. Yeah, Skyler played the uh, combination just be uh, out of, you know, maybe score management and felt like that's his best chance to win that particular rack. I agree. I agree totally because uh, it worked. And he knew that it was a low percentage shot. It wasn't like he was taking it up there and he's totally expecting to get it. He just knew that there was a chance to win and there's also a chance to get safe. There's something about the psychological with the pool game is if you... Do the right thing, you get rewarded. And I thought it was the right thing, shooting to 10. And he got rewarded. He's going to go two rails. Nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good shot there. He, he could have got a little more angle, but I think he's got to pound this now to come off the cushion. You don't want to be on the cushion shooting the seven because the seven to the eight is going to not be easy. I don't know if he can go forward and not hit the ten. I think he's got to pound this. And so does he. Good decision. One of those, <laughs> this is how some matches go. If he draws back now, the 10's in the picture here. You got to right. hit the pocket properly to get the right angle here. Or you... That's bad. The 10 is on the wrong side for the position here. But he's going to do it. Good hit. Hit the pocket pure. I don't pure. know if he's going to get good, but he did. Good shot. Very much so. appreciate it. Yep. Well, he's in danger of winning his second game here.
Good stroke. Now he just needs a no English draw. And he'll come along that left rail. Two to ten. Where are you going? Slow down, ball. I don't pull for anybody, but I, w I want them to make a game out of it for the public. Yeah, this is tricky with the bridge. Yeah, he didn't look good with the bridge yesterday. He didn't look good with the bridge today, and he scratched. Oh, that's terrible. That's going to work on him mentally. Cause yeah. That's, up till then, he was looking good. It's at a 5-2, now it's 6-1, and Jason Shaw really uh, hardly missed a beat. He's smiling. You know he likes it. If you play long enough in tournaments, this will happen to you the other way. Woodward talking to Jeff Conway. Eight and nine behind the head ball. Eight found the side pocket. Got the cue ball near the one. Got kissed around. I don't know if he has a shot, Danny. I think he can hit it, but I don't see a pocket for him. Yeah. You know, he can't hit the one on the right side to shoot it in the corner, but he can hit it. So you don't push on a shot like this just because of this. Well, he left a shot on the... But there's obstructions to the pocket. Is he going to shoot the four ball combination? I guess he almost has to. I don't see a great safe. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's looking at here. Does he play the one off the four? Is that what he's thinking of? Off the back? You know, rail first, hit the four? I think you just go all out and shoot the four. It's not going good for you. Try to turn it around with this shot. Good call, Danny. Yeah, he did. Whew. That was a great the, shot, uh, whether I called it or not. It was yeah, a great was, shot. He lobbed that right on in there. So, we've turned things around with that shot. Yeah, when you get this far behind, you got to run out every time you get a chance to run out. And some of the times that aren't looking so good. Right. You get back in the, in the match here. How old is Skyler? 22. He's a baby. He's going to go through a lot of suffering yet in this pool game, but he'll get wisdom from it. Oh, yeah. This is the group he's got to be in. You're going to get bruised, bloodied, and battered if you want to play here, but that's just the price of getting good. Well, he's got an angle to hit the rail if he wants to. And he wanted to. Uh, not the 50-yard line. That's well, it's terrible. The, but 
40 yard line. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> He's all right, but I don't think I'd do this. Get the bridge. <laughs> he was trying to be a contortionist. I don't think he's going to be real confident with the bridge, means he's missed his last six shots with the bridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this might end that streak. Yeah, come on, Skyler. See, he's elevated with the backhand. He should be down flatter on this shot. And he might make it with this, but you just don't see the great players play the well, bridge like that. He it in, but he got it. Yeah. You know, you just don't get the exposure to need the bridge as much on a nine-foot table. And uh, You're right. Yeah, he clearly portrays that. 862-904, that's our TPAs. Jason Shaw leading the way and leading in the score 6-2. We've got 16 of the world's finest players. Great action coming our way. Had two days of it. We got two days left. Just past the midway point of the entire tournament. Yeah, but what about the other five days with the other games? We're oh. only talking about ten ball right now. But yeah. don't forget, we got a lot of games to play. We got one pocket, bank pool, nine ball. On the adjacent tables, we have 500 players playing bank pool right now. Oh, don't do that. Oh, my God, you're dead when you scratch on the break with good players. You don't figure to get back to the table, and you hope it isn't more than one game. Yeah, well said. Yep, and that's really his fault because it went directly in the side. It wasn't right. one of those random kisses. That happens to everybody, right. but you can't help that. You, when you go right in the pocket off hitting, you made a bad shot. Of course, Jason doesn't mind. Table 25, Eric Krauss, Les Howard. Table 26, Zach McKee, Randy Jordan. Table 27, Mike Burris. Yeah, Jason's 27 years old. He's going to be a force for a long time. And like you said, if he's getting better with the tactical side... Most guys had trouble with the shooting side. You know, the, the, the tactical side is much more just a little bit of practice and uh, a more thorough understanding of the billiards components. But and that's probably the most important part. Well, it's, and that's much easier to learn than the straight shooting part of it. That's that's the super yeah. difficult part. Straight shooting you're supposed to have to start with and then put in the knowledge stuff and you're a player. Without it, you're not going to be a player. <laughs> he's just got talent just oozing off of him. I mean, he just makes these shots look so effortless. And manhandle this table. He's in great, great position here, but he overcame it. Yeah, I don't think it was bad. It was a pretty routine three-railer. Well, I don't know how routine it is. You'd rather not, but it doesn't matter to him. Yeah, he drew right back and got there. He's getting right on out the door here. I think you play it short of the side pocket. No, we have three rails around, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good speed, too. This plays well for a left-hander. Yeah, I mean, he's from Scotland. I don't know who he played there to learn pool. He learned when he got to New York City. Maybe snooker. I, I don't know. Straight as he shoots. 7-2 is our score, Shaw in front. Scott Smith is presiding over this match. Always good to have Scott back. He's been around the game for 40 years. Yeah, he was a fixture on this till a while ago. Does a good job. He's got a great microphone voice, too. I always loved his announcements. Kind of got that Michael Buffer, let's get ready to rumble. And Michael Buffer's got a brother, too. I don't think it's important to know. A couple of the other matchups to follow. We got Shane Van Boning and, uh, no, I take that back. It's Shane Van Boning and Alex Peggy Lyon. 
That'll be a great one. Looking forward to that in a big way. Lee Van Corteza from uh, Philippines versus Dennis Arcolo. Lee Van has always finished high in this event. And then oh, Bustamante and Reyes. So there's four Filipinos left. No, five. Good Lord. So I would have to bet that a Filipino <laughs> win. But you still got Shane Van Boning on the American side. But anyway, it's Bust Gatter Woodward. Yeah. and Efren, that's like Joe Lewis fighting Marciano. Joe Lewis was Marciano's idol. Then he knocked him out and he cried, you know, after the fight. And once again, Scatter having to aim up for a kick. It's been the story of this match. Well, we're going to see a kick like Tyler's been used to doing so far. Oh, he barely hit it, but he hit it. And he got rewarded for hitting it. Although it's a tough layout here, there is nothing easy. Mm -mm. Well, if you're trying to kick and hit the one, don't hit the balls that are tied up because that's your only chance to get another shot. Yeah, you, you hate to do it. In this case, you probably have to allow yourself to possibly do it. Yeah. Don't hit balls that are tied up. Well, you just you can't be too cute here. You're going to have to take a little bit of a gamble here or else just forego giving up ball and maybe tie something else up. If I think this is a just go after the one, and if you do dislodge the five and the eight, well, so be it. Well, he listened. He listened. He left the one tough and long. No bargains here. Tyler needs something easier than this to get going. Straight back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like that shot. Well, it's good if you make it. Right, Got the four ball to help, maybe just a hit. Yeah. Oh. And if you shoot straight on, you're oh, figured to snook him if you miss the one. So I got to bank this. So does he. Good shot. See, if it didn't go, the two ball had him snuckered. That was good thinking and good control. No problem, two to the three. We're going to have a problem when, when we get to the four. Because the five is tied up. Yeah, he didn't hit that good, Danny. No, yeah. I, I wouldn't have wanted to move the four because that was sitting pretty good to Paul on that five. Yeah, Scott, he's not hitting them pure. He's made a couple of real pure shots, but for the most part, he's been hitting them a little bit rough. Conversely, Jason Shaw has uh, rubbed the rail maybe once or twice only in all the games and balls that he's pocketed. Everything else has been just right in the heart. Well, he got the right angle now on the four to get to the five. But I think the five passes and goes in that far corner. He's got the right angle to pull on it. And he's going to pull on it. See, folks, it wasn't an accident that he got that angle on the four. Because that's what got him to the five. Now he's got a good chance to score another game, which he needs to do. Well, he got a little bit too thin on this shot. He would have liked to have been fuller. He's stretching. I don't know if he can hit it soft enough to get on the eight. Now I do. Good shot. Here 
You're all right, Skylar. Just get up and shoot it in. Cubo's going to get position. Yeah, good, good job. job. Yep. This 10 ball is all that stands in the way of Skyler winning his third game. Made it. Woodward, three. Jason Shaw, seven. track you see how he lost the first five games now they've traded games the next five still got time to mount an attack here Skyler it isn't like the opponents on the hill well he's smiling with the audience so that's a good sign he's having fun out there Needs to get his good break working here. Six and eight right behind the one ball. Well, he's not making that ball on the side. He made the 10 on the break, which doesn't count. Does count spot that up. <laughs> Got a nice shot on the one, but not an easy position to the three. Okay, let me tell the public this, whether mm -hmm. they know it or not. You know, he made the 10 on the break, and it doesn't count, but it counts as a ball pocketed, so you stay at the table. Oh, bad shot. That was a bad stroke, too. Yeah, he just got up and poked. It was one of these where uh, he was going to have to use some power, but on the last little bit, he wanted to be accurate, so he abbreviated the final backswing, kind of chopped it off short, and it didn't even come close. He missed it by a diamond and a half. It hit into the rail. Yeah. And you don't want to miss it fat anyway. You're kind of trying to get clear down table, you know, so you don't want to take that much pace out of the cue ball. So we know it was a stroke mechanics error as opposed to an aiming error. And Mark Wilson here is an expert on the stroke mechanics. If you have problems, look him up. That just emboldens Jason Shaw's confidence, and not that he's lacking, but when he sees that type of weakness, uh, he's, he feels even better about his circumstance. Well, I don't think he could miss hitting the six, but I'm wrong. But he didn't get real good on the seven unless you're banking. No, he isn't. He got good on it. He didn't hit the six, didn't change anything. Now he got on the seven pretty nicely. Oh, Woodward, you gave him this inning. Look at the TPA. Shaw shooting in the 900s. Woodward at 837. All right, Jason Shaw now got his eighth win, eight three year score. Danny, you think Detroit Whitey shot as straight as Eagle Eye here? He shot as straight as anybody who ever lived. You know, I messed with him a few times. He wasn't a great smart player, but he shot straight. Eight three here's our score. Eight and nine right behind the one. There the one's been going in the side pocket. Here comes the one ball down by the cue ball. 
Well, he's got to figure it out. He does. The one was heading towards that pocket where he gets right. positioned all the time. That's happened every time that you, since you mentioned it, and that's going to be a tremendous advantage when you have to latch on to the next round of players if you get through this one. He tried to play the billiard. He didn't take enough time to do it, but you can't fault that because he never takes enough time and he succeeds. Well, Skyler, you're not done yet. Just play game by big game, like I said with Johnny Mora, and he did, and he made a match out of it. That was yesterday. Fell just a little straight on the two here to get down on the three easily. He might just stop the ball there, right. cut it in. That's right, stop there and just... Take the cut on the three because the next ball you can get to from there and you got a five ball that's hanging. That's, oh, he missed again. That's no good. You're not going to win if you miss balls. Let me tell you, that, that he missed it on the wrong side of the pocket, though. Well, you don't want the cue ball to go that way anyway. You know, so, yeah. I mean, complete stroke mechanics break down there. Pressure, uh, difficulty of the 10-foot table. Well, look at this. This ball gets on the rail. How do you get to the three ball? We we'll get to see the eagle eye here. He's going to mass A this. Well, he's taking the <laughs> cut. That's a shot. He's taking the cut, and that's a good shot because a the cut shot. gets you to the four ball. Well, it's a tremendous shot to get from where he was at yeah, down here. Right. That's good. That was... He was on the rail. Everybody didn't applaud because they didn't recognize how difficult that was. That object ball was not hanging in the pocket. Look underneath his body, cuts it in. Now, how's the I speed? I don't know. This yeah. is going behind the four. I don't think he's going to like this. Oh, he hit the four. Boy. He wouldn't yeah. have liked it. He would have been behind the four. But, however, that's not what happened. Seems like when you're going good, the balls will roll for you. Yeah, well, good rolls happen when you're at the table. You don't get good rolls sitting down. So he he afforded himself the opportunity by pocketing the previous shots. And he got perfect here. Shaw quickly grabs his ninth win. Didn't take him long to clean the table off. Well, Skyler had the first chance to get out, and he didn't do it. <coughs> well, you know Skyler pretty well. How many times does he play on a 5 by 10 This is the first that I know of. Uh, I mean, last night was the first that I know of, but I suspect he probably was somewhere along the way wound on one, but I don't know where it would have been. I'm sure it's quite infrequent. Well, I'm saying that because if he's got a backer that's watching, I'm making excuses for him. He doesn't have to. Yeah, uh, conversely, uh, Copigny said he'd never experienced the 5x10, and it didn't slow him down one bit. He played at 890 something last night. So Yeah. Yeah. Of course, he's the world number one, but just saying. I don't think any of these guys really get much exposure. Where would you find one? Uh, Shaw powered up a little bit. Yeah, made nine the ball, ball on the side again. Here's the one in the cue ball together. He flips his wrist, is a little bit disgusted <laughs> that he didn't get a better <laughs> shot, but I think you might be asking for a little much there. You've had a pretty good shot many, many times. And you don't have to kick. I mean, it's not the yeah, worst thing in the world. he's a dirty shot. Boy, that's a good shot. That's well, a good shot. it could have been better. You freeze the guy on that ball, and he doesn't have a kick at all. See, now he does have a kick. Not that it matters right now. He's winning 9-3. to three. But if it were Hill Hill, I'd want to freeze him on that ball. Take away a lot of the kicks, because... You know, you let good players kick at this, they're going to kill you. Well, not there. Yeah, Skyler's not having a good tournament so far. 
I say so far because we got all the other games to play. And Skyler plays all the games. No, he's not having a real good tournament. He's out of the bank pool. He didn't play well last night, and he hasn't played real well. He played a little better today. And I'm not being negative or criticizing him, but I'm just saying, you know, that's you have the ups and downs, you have, you know, lulls. And well, he's young enough yet; he'll have more ups and downs. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, you know, you go into slumps and you just come off of a big win coming over here. There might have been a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, he just won a tournament, didn't he? Yeah, Music City Open. That's Nashville. Music City is Nashville for you folks who don't know. Pretty good angle. Didn't have a great target, but he fell on it very well. And he's got the right angle now to go to D8. He could put himself on the hill here if he cleans up these last three balls. We fully expect him to get it. And you know, since I've known Jason, which has just been a couple of years, but he now has a wife and son, or a daughter. Yeah, a daughter. And Cute it seems... Girl. Seems like it's matured him just a little bit. Maybe taking some of the rough edge off of him. And I think it's going to make him a better player. Kind of slows him down a little bit. He's a good person. Fun loving. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, don't you, Danny? Exactly. Do you feel what I'm sure, saying? That, sure. That, 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 that'll <laughs> pump up a lot, of, a lot of athletes when they got a wife and a baby. Dependent upon got their... They sure. Yeah. You're right. And their game got better. That's what happened here. I don't know if that's the reason, but he has been around top players to learn with. And Even now he's learning. He has to be, yeah. He's he's learning at this level. Playing 935, that indicates that this is someone that's working on their game. That's art. Yeah, he was eight ball champion in England many years. I didn't know that, but we were notified that he was. So, you know, maybe it wasn't just U.S. players that developed him. Drive break. Skyler, go get him. <laughs> you got another kick, Skyler. I gotta laugh because Skyler is laughing a little. His suffering can end after this kick. This is it's tough to push out here. Tough, you're right. With a guy like Jason, he's gonna invent something to shoot at. Well, the push. That's tough to do when you're losing 10 to 3, you want to shoot. I'm surprised that Jason is shooting at this. Oh, I agree. I agree with that. But he was right and we were wrong because he well, made a great shot. He left the shot at the one, at least to hit it. Yeah, but that's a great shot. It's hard of to defend yourself is. from here. You know, yeah, you're not selling out a shot. So. Skyler has to do something good to play you safe. Yeah, I then that being said, I agree that Jason should have shot that shot. If you could leave it this well. The Skylar's retaliated with a good response here. That's a good shot from where he was at. But psychologically you make a good shot like this, you know it's not gonna win seven games. It's a great shot if the score is tied. But right now, this is not looking like you're going to win seven games because you made a great shot. Frank Lyon, table 39. Rudy Maven, table 37. Steve Dunkley, table 38. You guys need to get to those tables. If you're looking at the scroll... There's something we don't see every day, two little boys. And you 
I think probably about five or six years old. We got their arm over each other watching Great Pool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yesterday, a guy walked in here with a, with a pit bull on the leash, and the pit bull looked like Billy and Cardona. <laughs> He's my good friend, so I can insult him. And Pat gave me permission to. Okay, what do you do here, Skyler? Yeah, I think he's going past the four ball with the one. Can he avoid hitting the five? Well, we'll see if he can pocket the one. This has got to be. No. No, he didn't do any of it. Uh -oh. And he sold out. Yeah, that's not what he wanted to see. Your suffering could be open, over in a couple minutes. Well, there's a good chance that if he can make the two, he's going to go out, and that's for sure. He's got pretty good position to make that two ball. Well, you don't want to hit any balls now. He didn't. That's good control there. That was not easy to do. It looked easy, but it wasn't. I don't know, it's too thin to hit to control for the five. I think you got to spin it low with a little left to get any cut at it. Looks like he's doing something else. No, he's missing. That's what he's doing. Sometimes the hill game is tough to win. Looked like he had a chance to, but he didn't do it. Drawing out two cushions here. The chat. See, he went to no walkway. <laughs> he didn't have <laughs> to see. go far because mm. you could have gone one rail the other way, but then you would have had to walk around the table. True. There he didn't have to walk. Okay, solid out there. Good for Skyler. Trails in the match 10 games to four. He's grinning. So that means he's having fun. He's not suffering. There it is. Well, the break's performance average. Shaw has <laughs> did much more with the break. Yeah, he's had a lot more breaks, too. But got 9 out of 11 successful breaks for Jason Shaw. That, that gets it done, especially if you get a shot on the first object ball. I don't think he's going to make a ball. He left the cut on the one. It looks like you're going right into the two. If you don't hit the two, you're not going to get position. If you do hit the two, you... You might not. Yeah. This. But the pass is going at the two, I would say. I think it's a little careless, though, if you go after this one ball, fan it in, and just rifle the cue ball and see what happens.
with great players, you can't take it for granted that you've won already 10 Not to at 4. All. It was like I said, Efren beat a good, a great player, Alan Hopkins, losing 10 nothing. He won 11 in a row with alternate break. That's yeah, unimaginable. Yeah. Well, you know, it can easily quickly get three games that goes by if you take a, a crazy shot there. Now it's 10-7. You think, well, I better close this out. And then another game or two can slip away. And now you really start to feel the super pressure. Good shot there. Good kick safe. Yeah, real good. Everybody enjoyed that? Yeah, there's nothing easy about the, hitting this ball. He's Jason, gonna have to hit it. Yeah, he's kind of lining up here. I don't know what he's looking at to see if he would scratch off the one or if he could play the one and back into the side pocket off the six. I think it's over kissing doing okay. that. Oh, he was he a jump hit. kick. What a great hit! <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh boy, does he have a shot? The jump kick. That was nice. Yeah, he's got a shot. Take advantage, Skyler. You never know. Two passes to pour, obviously. Apparently not. Uh-oh. That wasn't a good enough safety, though. No. Nanny. He, kept him, he left him a shot. And there might have been a little bit of complacency or frustration or loss of focus there. I hope it wasn't give up. No, 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 no. I don't think that. Uh, uh, give up only in terms of I'm frustrated I'm not playing better and then I forgot to concentrate on a safety. He got good position for a safety. He just didn't execute. Now he's going to have to hope that Jason doesn't run out. Tricky position here. Mm -hmm. I think I he should might go past it and shoot to pour up the far corner, right? That's what I see, but he's jacking up, so I don't think he is doing that. He's trying to beard the four down. And not only did he try, he did. He's got a shot at it and position. Yep. I usually say this is a pack your bag game, but we got whole week of pool so you don't pack your bag yet. Just took what he had on the six here. You're right. Just rely on his shot making. Well, he'll get rewarded if he makes it. And he made it. There's your position and an angle to get to the eight. Yeah, I think uh, Skyler's suffering is coming to an end here. But he's not suffering. He's still smiling, having fun. Going to go two rails. Did he hit it hard enough? Yes. Yep. Two balls away from winning his second match in this 10 ball. Yep. And guaranteeing him at least 4,000. Match ball. There it is. Jason Shaw moves on. He'll be coming back tomorrow. He'll play once or twice tomorrow because the whole tournament will be over with. And Danny, uh, what do you have to say about that one? Well, we know Skyler didn't have a good night. 
You know, he's got to get himself together for the other divisions because he's not playing very well. He didn't play good yesterday and won. But you can't beat guys like Shaw not playing well. But anyway. Yeah, a lot of pressure. 925 from Shaw. Exceptionally well played. And, you know, I think just Jason Shaw's overwhelming confidence took that match. And that's all for us from here at the AccuStats, the worldwide leader in billiards programming. So long for just a while.